Hi, I'm Maggie Holmes and I'm here at scrapbook.com working with my new Flourish collection and I'm super excited to share with you a project that I am working on. I absolutely love to make mini albums and this might look like an old book but when you flip it open it's actually a mini album with pictures of my family and so we'll get to some of that in a minute but I'm going to first talk about the pages that go inside the book. Got a few pages here. When I make mini albums, I love to just kind of go with the flow. Um, sometimes you'll have a plan of attack and you have a certain mini album and so you make the pages to fit right inside that album. Well, I might be a little backwards on that, but a lot of times I just kind of like to dive in, play with the products and make pages. And so I also like to make pages that are various sizes. So if you'll notice here, I've got some smaller pages and I've got some bigger pages. And then when I show you the book later, there's um, a couple other sizes as well, some square pages and some that are even kind of in between. But anyway, my point is that sometimes it's okay to just make pages and have the sizes vary and not be too precise on things. So I'll kind of just eyeball and take the pictures that I have and uh, leave myself some room for embellishing. And one thing that I do when I make this kind of mini album is you'll make all the pages separately. So a page and nothing on the back and another page and nothing on the back. And there's a purpose for that and I'll show you why. One of the reasons why I do that with mini albums is because I like to sew through my pages with my sewing machine. And if I create my page already back to back, then if I were to go through and stitch on this side, then I'd be stitching on the wrong side. And so I always like to keep the pages separate. That way I can stitch anything I want on here. And then later on, I'll take the two pages and glue them back to back. So for now, if you wanna make this type of album, which I know you're gonna to want to because it's super fun and really cool how it turned out. You'll leave all the pages separate. The only thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you're going through is you do want to have the same number of pages that correspond in size. So if you want it kind of planned out, then you'll take the first page and you'll know where that's going. And the next page, you'll make the same size so that it goes back to back. And then the next page, you can make a smaller size and then make sure you make one that will fit on the next page and so forth going through. Or if you wanna keep it simple, you can just do them all the same size too, then that is great as well. So on my pages, I'm just gonna show you a couple things. I love to layer, I love to use the ephemera, little strips of paper. Mini albums are really great for using scraps. So if you create a layout and you cut papers up and you have a lot of little pieces and strips left over, just save those. And then when you go to create a mini album, you just take all those little pieces and see I just tuck them here, little piece layered behind there, little tickets. Here I have some book paper behind. And over here, I like to use either vellum or the glassine bags, the little uh, kind of see-through vellum bags. And I like that they add a little bit of texture and still have that see-through element and doilies. So just layer it all up. And then I always embellish at the end with chipboard, some words, labels. And I'm gonna finish this one. So here I'll just grab a little uh, label and tuck that on there. I love these label and alphabet and word stickers. They come all in a package like this and they're really great because you just grab one and you put it on there and then you have a little caption for your page. So then that one's all done. And next I'm gonna show you how I created the mini album out of the book. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is find an old book, or I guess it could be a new book, but it needs to be a book that you are okay to destroy. And I know that that might make some people nervous, and I am a book lover, I love to read books, so it's not that I am anti-books or anything like that, so hopefully I don't get any um, people upset with me about this, but 
it's okay. So maybe get a book that's already kind of destroyed or has some water damage or something if you're nervous about it. So as you can see, what you're gonna need to do is create room for your mini album pages to go inside of the book. And so if you have all the book pages in, then you're not really gonna be able to fit your pages, especially if you have chunky things like the chipboard and dimensional things, you're gonna need some room in there. If it was really flat, then you might be able to fit some, but if it has any uh, dimension to it, you gotta create some room. So what we have to do is we've gotta take out pages. So you're gonna start with your book. And I think it's kind of fun to leave a few of those first pages in there and you can add um, journaling or you can just kind of leave them or paint over them or just do some other things. I don't really quite know what I'm gonna do with those yet. Like I said, it's still a work in progress. So I did leave a few pages in case I wanted to do something later, but you're going to open your book. If you wanna leave those first few pages, next you're gonna get here, you just, we've gotta start removing. It's not really an exact science, except for you're going to need an X-Acto knife that's nice and sharp to take the pages out. And so what I do is, I'd say that's maybe half an inch to three quarters of an inch. You're gonna to wanna to leave a little bit here. Um, I've tried it before where I just kind of really started tearing pages out, but you have to be careful with that because if you're not careful and you just start tearing them, you can ruin the binding of the book and then the whole book falls apart. And trust me, that's happened. So you wanna kind of leave the binding part in place and that's why I do it with a knife instead. So you can see, you just take a, the first one and cut and those come out and then you can kind of use that as your guide from there on. And so you just take this and cut it. And it is okay if they, some of them rip. Next, so you have those skinny ones right there. Now, when you have a page that you're going to put inside the album, you need something that you're going to attach the page to. And so I cut those sections that I'm taking completely out all the way off before the words. And then the part that I'm gonna put the page on, I actually cut a little bit further out. So you can see I go about a half an inch or so into where the words are. And you only need about, depending on how thick your pages are, I feel like uh, four-ish pages is about the right amount because you want it to have some stability so that you have enough um, uh, to attach your mini album page to. So I feel like about four pages is good. And so now see you'll have this section if you can see, I'm gonna use this to show you where it's a whole chunk of pages out. And then now you have the four page section where you have, it's a little bit wider. So next we'll need some adhesive to actually glue the page into the book. And I'm not going to glue this one in because it goes in my other book, but I have just a couple pieces here to show you for an example. So whichever page is the front, Let's say this is my front side of that page. What I'm gonna do, I like to kind of turn it towards me like this so I can push these down. And then I'm gonna flip this one over. Make sure you know which edge will be on the inside. And so flip that over and you'll just take some good, strong, permanent adhesive and run it right along that edge. And then you'll just stick this on to that first little page where it's bigger. And one thing to know is when you're creating this album is you might want to pick your book before you do your pages because you wouldn't necessarily want your pages to be super big and sticking way outside of the book. Or you could make your pages first and then go on the hunt for the perfect book, either way. But it is kind of nice if they either line up with that edge or if they stick out a little bit, I'm great with that, but you probably wouldn't want them sticking out 
20 feet or six inches, who knows? But anyway, you get the idea. So now if I flip that over, you can see that it's attached and you still have those other three pages. So I just take a little bit of adhesive and stick those four pages together. And again, this is just so you have some stability because if you only had it on one piece, it could tear out when people are looking through it. And so now you're gonna kind of bend that down and get ready for the back side. And this is where you're gonna wanna make sure that you already have it sized correctly. So when you put it in, it lines up. And on this piece, you are going to put adhesive all the way around. And again, you'll want some strong adhesive that's permanent. It's not gonna come off. So I've got a lot of nice adhesive on there. And then I found as I was uh, making this little method up, if I had it laying down flat and then put it on, when I tried to flip it up, sometimes this part didn't wanna lay right. And so it is kind of a little bit awkward until you get the hang of it, but what you wanna do is start with this edge over here, so the outer edge, cause you wanna make sure that lines up. And line that up and just barely stick it down on the edge. But then before you press the rest of the page down, you're gonna to want to kinda of bring this up so it's straight up and down so that the inside pages of the book are nice and tight together how they would naturally want to be. And then all you have to do is press that down and secure it and now you have your mini album page hooked into the book. So from there, next thing you'll do is go back to this step and just start cutting again with your knife on the smaller section inside of the words, pull out a bunch of those and then you'll go to your next section uh, the only other thing to note is you want to decide or take a note of how many pages you have to put inside and then that will determine, because there is not an exact science, how much space you're going to take out in between each page. So if you only had five pages, let's say, you wouldn't really want to do them all at the front of the book. You'd want them evenly spaced and so you'll kind of eyeball your book divide out the sections and determine how many pages you have. And then I just kind of eyeballed it from there, making sure they were all evenly spaced. So I'm gonna bring mine back in here. And you can see again how they're evenly spaced out and there's big chunks taken out in between the pages where the mini album pages are. So moving on and back over in my book here, you can see how I already got it ready to go. I've taken out these chunks and then I have some pieces ready for my remaining pages. And I'm not gonna show you how those all go in because I already showed you on the other one, but you'll see, you know, that goes there. And then the next chunk, I've got the small page and then I'll finish off with the big page. And like I said, this one's still a work in progress, so I'm still working on the cover. I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do yet, but I'll show you the book as it is now so far and all the fun pages that I created with the Flourish collection. I used a lot of the specialty papers from the little six by eight pad in here, mixed them in with all the ephemera. Uh, doilies are fun to add in. So one thing that I want to point out is that one thing I do love about mini albums is that it's a fun place to really play with the art pieces from a collection that you love. Sometimes when you're building a 12 by 12 page and you're really focused on the photos, which is what scrapbooking is all about, of course, but sometimes when you're doing all that, you can't fit a ton of the cute art stuff that you like, or maybe one or two pieces, but then you have other things. And so I feel like for me, the mini album gives me a chance to not only scrapbook and journal and do that part of it, but also 
to just play and have fun with the artistic side of it. And just use some of these pieces, make a page. It doesn't even need to have a photo on it or any words. It's just kind of like creating a little mini piece of art. And that's why I think I love mini albums so much is because I get both sides of it that I love. And so there's some more of the pages with the photos. And then here again, just a little piece where I stitched the vellum and then put the cute quote out of the chipboard on there. So thank you so much for letting me share my mini album with you. And I hope that you create a lot of beautiful albums for you and your family and your loved ones and that you love creating this project as much as I do. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting!